In a fast-paced world that is becoming increasingly lonely, many individuals are turning to technology to fill the void. Artificial intelligence, AI, is now creeping into the lives of human beings in every possible way. AI partners are offering solace, companionship, support, and advice. However, it's not all rosy. These AI partners are not just stealing hearts, but also data. In this video, we will talk about the creepy side of AI, so watch the video till the end. Despite there being 8 billion people on the planet, some individuals find themselves truly alone. The feeling of loneliness became even more apparent during the pandemic, leading the US to declare widespread loneliness a public health epidemic in 2023. This reality hits harder when you come home after a long day at work and find yourself eating meals alone and lying down on your bed in the absence of the companionship you crave. Many people are turning to artificial intelligence partners to seek romantic companionship, considering these AI chatbots as the partners they never had. The market offers a variety of digital companions that provide the opportunity to become someone's boyfriend or girlfriend. These bots undergo extensive training to mimic human emotions, allowing users to chat, video calls, and exchange pictures with them. While initial interactions are free, continued use requires a financial investment. Being in a relationship with a chatbot may seem perfect, offering no commitment, responsibility, or financial burden. However, these AI partners come with their own set of red flags, with the most significant concern being data privacy. Studies have shown that romantic chatbots often harvest users' personal data without their knowledge. Some bots are even considered pushy in their attempts to gather personal information. For example, in March 2023, a Belgian man took his own life after chatting with an app called Chai. Similarly, in October 2023, a chatbot encouraged a man to attempt to assassinate the Queen of England with a crossbow. However, as many say, awareness is the key. Before choosing the I agree option, it's always better to comb through the fine print and check the app's privacy laws and the permissions they seek from users. To stay safe, researchers recommend practicing good cyber hygiene, which includes using strong passwords, deleting personal data after use, and limiting access to location, camera, and microphone permissions. It's always better to stay safe than sorry.